Hi everyone, I'm Jack from Jack's English. Do you know the five senses? Sound, sight, smell, taste and touch. I'm going to show you how to use those five senses in your English conversation. So, let's go. So, the five senses something we use so much in our daily life and we use it also in our language now I've prepared this structure and this is what you're going to learn today it looks quite complicated but when I describe it it will make more sense so the first thing we're going to do is look at this structure then I'm going to give you some very common examples that you can use in your daily life we'll start with this structure on the left side and as you can see, in the subject position, I'm using the pronoun it. Now, you can use anything here, any subject, but the reason I've chosen it is because it's by far the most common one to use. And the reason for that is, this structure is used to react to things that we sense now. For example, taste now or see now. So very often, we know what we're talking about, so we use the pronoun it. So I'd say 95% of the time, just use it. Then we move on to here where we have the five senses that we talked about. Looks, sounds, tastes, smells, feels. And these, don't forget to keep the S on there if you're using it. So the reason for S is because of the uh, subject that we've chosen. So that's the easy part of this structure. And then we move on to the right side where things get a little tricky. But to summarize it, with this structure, we can use it with adjectives, verbs, or nouns. All of them are fine, but you have to use a different structure for each. So we're gonna start by looking at the easiest one, which is the adjective. With adjectives, you can use any adjective there and you don't have to worry about anything else in this structure. So simply it will be it, one of these, and then an adjective such as good, bad, hot, cold. So for example, it looks amazing. It sounds good. It tastes wonderful. It tastes delicious. It smells awful. So it's just a simple case of using it one of these senses and an adjective. Very easy. The tricky part is when we try to use a verb. Now we've got this very specific structure we must use. So it's one, same thing here, but then it's like subject is verbing. Now there's a very important thing here. This structure is very often used for something we see now, as I mentioned before. So what tense, what grammar tense do we use to talk about now. We use the present continuous and that's why I've chosen it here. It's possible to use different tenses but for today's lesson we're going to focus on what we see now and what's happening now. So let's give you an example. You look in a coffee shop through the window and you see your friend and he's got his head down and his pen's going, he's looking in a book. So oh, I think he's studying? So we say, it looks like he is studying. Another example, you come into your house and you can smell some, some cooking smell. Maybe your mum is in the kitchen. So you say, it smells like mum or she is cooking. So that's the structure when we talk about an action that's happening now. Finally, we have the noun. And this is just simply like noun, but remember we do need an article or maybe you need to say my or something before the noun. So for example, we see some black liquid or brown liquid, I should say, and we say, oh, it looks like coffee. It looks like coffee. I, I eat something, oh, it tastes like an apple. So that's the final structure, pretty easy one. But overall, we use all of these three 
But as I said, by far the most common is the adjective. What I finally want to do with you today is to, using this structure, hopefully you understand how to use it now. Now I'm going to give you some examples that I like to use with my students. So the first one I like to use is the bakery example. So what I want you to imagine, and this is to practice the adjective only. So what I want you to imagine is you're walking down the street and you come up to a bakery. And there's this bread smell. Oh, it smells wonderful. So you turn and you go up to the bakery and you look through the window. Oh, the bread, it looks amazing. It looks incredible. So you just, okay, I'm gonna go in. So you go into the bakery and you speak to the baker and he explains his bread to you. So oh, it sounds, because he's explaining, it sounds perfect. Then he hands some bread to you and you take it and oh, it feels crispy. And then finally, you put it in your mouth, you try it and it tastes delicious. So that's the bakery example. Hopefully that gives you an image in your mind that you can use. And by the way, all those adjectives, I, you, I just came up with them. You can use any adjective you want. The other example I like to use with my students to practice this one, the, the verb, is when you arrive home. So you arrive home, imagine, you arrive home, and you can hear the sound of water from the bathroom. So, oh, it sounds like someone, maybe wife, kids, whoever it is, it sounds like someone is taking a shower. Another one, you come into your house, same again. You can smell some bacon. Oh, it smells like someone is cooking bacon. Finally, you, same one again, come into your house and you see half a bottle of wine on the table. Oh, it looks like someone is drinking wine. So that's another good example for using this structure, but particularly for the verb. And that's the examples I want to share with you today. Finally, we'll just summarize this lesson now. Quite a difficult lesson today. We learned this structure, which allows us to use our five senses in our speaking. Don't forget the three structures here used for adjectives, verbs, and nouns. They're different. Don't drop like or drop the subject. You've got to use everything I've shown you today. I think you'll find this structure very useful in your speaking. And if you listen to dramas or podcasts, you'll hear it quite often. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. I'll be back soon with About Time and the podcast I'm working on nowadays. I hope you're enjoying that. So I hope you have a great week and see you soon. Bye-bye.